Shaq challenged Aaron Carter to a rematch after 12 years of the, since the song was made. <laughs> Shaq made the deal that if Aaron Carter scores a single hoop against Shaq, the ex-Laker will donate $5,000 to the charity of Aaron's choice. Aaron replies that he's playing uh, for the Aaron Carter Needs a Jet Ski Foundation. Oh, God. <laughs> fuck <laughs> you, bro. Game, fuck off. Oh, so <laughs> you rich. fucking you piece of shit. shit. <laughs> the game starts with the two staring each other down. Shaq steals the ball from Aaron and pursues, proceeds to score over 20 points while Aaron <laughs> can't make a single <laughs> shot. <laughs> As he just shits all over this guy. <laughs> Oh, that was so funny, man. What did you think you were going to do? During the break, Shaq is seen eating nachos and offers some to Aaron, but then smacks them to the ground before Aaron can take any. Why go? Like a, like a nematode. Yeah, but like a white goat. goat. But like a thing that doesn't sound like nematode at all. <laughs> Scooting in. I want to make that like a gif. <laughs> just, just hopping up. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to episode number 66 of the Lunchtime Serenade podcast. Today, our food is from And Waffles. And Waffles? And Waffles. I don't know where the emphasis is supposed to lie, Ooh. but it's, uh, it's I, a little brunch spot. I like to say And Waffles. And like, waffles. Like almost like one word. Yeah. I just think that's fun. So I got chicken and waffles and i literally got a ch piece of chicken and four waffles no garnishes no embellishments i got three fucking jugs of syrup you though, got so. what you ordered oh okay. i got what i ordered okay they and did. brian got waffles benedict basically everything this is their whole gimmick is it's blank and waffles so like everything there's the head. everything is, is a, waffle. a waffle cheeseburger waffles which just burrito waffles which I thought it was like a really thin waffle that they wrapped the shit in, but yeah. it's actually bits of waffle in there, like low. Oh. So I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know if it would taste good, but it didn't. I didn't want it. I wanted chicken and waffles, and I got chicken and waffles. And I'll say right off the bat, presentation-wise, I have to give it a six. Yeah, you know? it's Not fine. Great. Is it is it great? Nah. You get what you order. You get what you order. That's what that's what I would say. That is that is what this is. Taste wise, I would liken this to, mm, you know, it's a step above those ones that you make at the Motel Six <laughs> of just the waffle itself, where you pour the batter in, yep, and then flip it. I'm gonna try the waffle by itself. I'm gonna I'm gonna piecemeal this. I'm gonna just the waffle by itself for the. Uh, for the understanding of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I'll try with, now I'll try with the chicken, and you try it with your other flavors. <laughs> All right, let's just get a little. I will say, they poached this egg perfectly. Oh, good. I'm glad. When I was selecting the the option on the menu for the kind of, it was, it was Eggs Benedict, right? <laughs> Which is normally poached eggs. But it said, how would you like your egg? Please select one and you cannot proceed. It said, over easy or scrambled. <laughs> and then the, you had to select one, but then there was a special requests place and I put, please poach the egg mold. <laughs> Is that what you wrote? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, dude. I had to select scrambled or over easy. That's so weird. For a poached egg. Yeah, that's so weird. Mm. Mm, all right. Yeah, it's definitely a combo thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're good supplemental waffles. Not overpoweringly sweet. The waffle is the vessel yeah. of, of the meal yeah. in this scenario. Mm -hmm. and this chicken's all right. Yeah, not a lot really going on with it. The ham is ham. I will say, like, when you poach an egg perfectly, that's, like, that's what makes the Benny. So, like, Facts. the hollandaise sauce is a little plain. Yeah. I won't lie, mm -hmm. but... It looks, you know, that's a standard. Yeah, it's standard tasty. Standard eggs benedict. It's benedict. tasty. I will give it that. All right, final thoughts. Uh, I will give this overall waffle by itself. I have to give it a five. Waffle with the chicken, I'd give it a six and a half. Okay, yeah, I'd say I'm I'm, I'm probably sitting at like a six, seven, five, maybe a seven. All right. If if like. 
The waffle was crispier. The waffle needs to be crispier for sure. For a place that says and waffles, you the staple of your fucking Whole cuisine needs to be these waffles. Like I, I, they need to be just the best waffles you've ever had. If that's what you're gonna name your business, I shouldn't have to drown it in two entire cups of syrup <laughs> for to it get to be palatable. Flavor. Right. I mean, maybe the, all the different waffles taste different in the different, you know, dishes. Maybe this is not meant to be overpowering, but just food for thought. <laughs> food for thought there, and waffles, M CEO, if you're watching this. <laughs> He's going to fucking come to your house. He's going to be like, why don't you even fuck with my waffles? <laughs> well, now they're going to fuck with now you. Now they're going to fuck with you. <laughs> they just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Four line cooks wearing waffle masks <laughs> just come into my house and They have a waffle me. mascot that just like... All he does is show up and just like curb stomp you. Like he is just an intimidator. He, he puts your face in the waffle iron and flips it upside down. <laughs> I'll let you cook for two minutes. See what you think about that. Are you crispy enough now, bitch? Are you crispy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fucking right. Never mention Motel 6 in front of me ever again, motherfucker. <laughs> Please don't hurt my family. Oh, wow. I put way too much. So two, two is too much syrup. One is not enough. Two is too much. And now my hands are paying the price. <laughs> I mean, that sounded nice. Mm -hmm. Like entering your mouth and yeah. the, the like moist mouth noises that I'm sure the audience is going to, audience is gonna love that. have a, a lovely experience with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. That's enough. Of that. It's all right. <laughs> On to the news. On to the news. Oh my God. My fingers are like dripping syrup, dude. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Good shit. All right, what have you been up to this week? Dude, a whole lot of work. Went to a Japanese barbecue last night. Let's go. For a friend's birthday party, dude. I, I fucking love Japanese barbecue so much. Yeah. It's always so good. And there's something about like, you know, just like tapas in general. That is just great. Yeah. And I then you get little... the nice little like grill in the center. The guy comes over and he moistens it for Ooh. you. Let's fucking go. Yeah. And they Let's just keep go. bringing you tiny plates of meat, and you're like, damn, all right. That's the kind of business model I like, baby. Yeah. Things that just bring you little plates of shit all the time. Mm -hmm. Brazilian steakhouses, dude. Mm. Churrasquerias. I'm about it. When you get the uh, when you get the dude that just comes over with a thing of meat and mm -hmm. just, just cutting it until you tell him to fucking stop. They Incredible. pop the little pineapple off oh, of your yeah. plate. Mm. There's a, I still, I've, I've, I've said this so many times in my life for some reason. But whenever the dude at like a taco stand is like shaving the stuff off of like the the like vertical slicer, yep. and then he just like hits the pineapple and it just lands perfectly in his hand, like no look, so good. That I, I said is... that on the podcast too. Uh, probably. I just I just love it. There's something about that artisanship, you know, that that showmanship, if you will. It's impressive, and I will never get tired of it. I never, never, never ever get tired of it. Never ever. What you got going on, buddy? Let's see. Um. I went to see the Jackass movie last night, dude. Literally. Right. Dude, it has like an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. I know. Like it's apparently an actually good movie. I'd never seen any of the Jackasses before. I mean, I get the basic concept, but you know, it's just like a, not really a story. It's literally just like a YouTube show, uh. basically. Uh, so I'd never seen any of the originals. I go to book the tickets last night and there's like, as many show times for that movie as there was there was for like Spider Man, dude. I mean, it's probably cheap as shit too. Thirty show times. Oh my god, insane. Those one at seven, seven fifteen, seven twenty, seven thirty, seven forty five. I'm like, holy shit! Like they're really like everyone is seeing this movie. We get to the theater. There's people there in their jackass merch. They've That's got incredible. fucking like I don't know, like Viva La Bam merch from like way back oh in my the god. day. He wasn't even in the movie. Crazy shit. And it was surprisingly, like, for as fucked up of the things that they do, a very wholesome, like, type of film. Yeah, you know? that's that's awesome. I like, that. they're always like, they always like their whole thing is just shitting on each other yeah. and stuff like that. But it's like always done in such like a loving way. Mm -hmm. Like they're all just like fucking like, like just weird dudes, and this is just what they like doing, and they just they're have a blast so with weird. it. It's just it's funny. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently Johnny Knoxville, because of one of the stunts in that, suffered brain damage. In that I movie. believe it. Yeah. He um, 
it was probably the the bull stunt. He got knocked out into a. He was just standing there. He like poured milk in a hat. They do weird shit. He poured a gallon of milk into a ma- magician's hat, put the hat on his head, and then like just kind of stood there. And like there's this angry fucking bull running around. He stood there and he's like, "All right, here it comes. Here it comes." Brace for impact. The bull fucking hits him. He flips over like six times. Oh my god. They play it in super slow mo. Lands on his wrist, breaks his wrist, oh. cracks his rib, is out before he even hits the ground. And then, like, you know, normally after the stunt, they'll get up and be like, ah, like, whatever. He was out cold. Jesus, there were, People dude. were like, yo, Johnny, Johnny, are you okay? Johnny? And he's just, like, laying there. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And then, you know, they cut to him getting wheeled out of the hospital, and he's like... His arms in a sling. He's like, yeah, I broke my rib. I broke my wrist. I fractured my arm. Uh, I have some, like, you know, brain thing. But I'm good. On to the next shit. And, like, I have some brain thing. <laughs> these dudes are all so old at this point, I know. too. That's so funny. They brought in, like, a, like a, a younger cast and a lot of, like, uh, cameos from, from other, you know, celebrities and shit. Yeah. To do their... I saw, like, Eric Andre, mm-hmm. fucking MGK was yeah. in it. Yeah. All these people. That's funny. Man. But you can tell that they're subjecting... Those people to the more physical things because these dudes are just like they'll like just crumble like, into dust, dude. <laughs> they're gonna get tapped and just pop. Mm-hmm. Like that's they're they're just they're like so an overinflated like pool floaty. There's also so many dicks. Oh my god. I have not seen that much like full frontal male nudity in a cinema ever. I've never seen that like on in a movie. Full on the first scene of the movie. Is they made an entire miniature set, and um, like of a city, and they had one of the guys paint his dick and balls like a dragon, and then they put little arms on him, and they had puppeteers for the arms and shit like that, and they like his dick was attacking the city or whatever, <laughs> and it was like a whole ass thing, and they kept cutting between <laughs> shots of that with like the cameras making it look big, and then like shots of them like in an actual set. Oh my god. Fighting this dragon or whatever. A lot of dicks. Uh, they put bees on, on Steve O's dick. Yeah, that sounds right. They um, There's always there's always so many dicks in those movies. Always. Insane. Oh just 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 a lot of dicks. So many dicks. So many dicks. I wasn't prepared, I wasn't aware, but I loved it. I'm gonna be honest. Hell yeah. It was, it was very entertaining. Nick loved was, the dicks, all right. I loved the dicks. And it was so funny because everyone in the theater, it was like, you know, whenever the first time you saw you saw like a, a main character like Steve-O, like, hey, like they were introducing all the people in the main title sequence. Whenever one of them came on, everyone in the theater would be like, oh my God. Like it was, it would erupt with like claps and laughter and applause. Like, dude, people in the theater were like, it was a loud theater. Hell yeah, dude. It was great. I love I that love energy. That. That's so, that's so great. Yeah. It's like funny that like, you know, Jackass has always kind of been like, such like a lowbrow thing but the yeah. people who love it fucking love they it they love dude. it it's mm-hmm. so great yeah I love it I love it so much yeah so that was um, a surprisingly wholesome experience I'm gonna be honest dude who would've thought they all just love each other yeah and they love fucking with each other and they love fucking with each other what else I also saw Moonfall this week I only saw I just watched movies this week that's like all nice. I did hell yeah I saw Moonfall and IMAX ooh nice they didn't use the IMAX once what? They there was not a single scene with the IMAX resolution. Everything was sixteen by nine or whatever. Maybe <laughs> What's whatever. the point? I don't know. I kept waiting for like a big action sequence to fill up the rest of the screen, but yeah. nope. It was just fucking. What the fuck? That's the so whole time. weird. It was very odd. Um, movie was all right. Okay. You know? Yeah. I, I like. I kept like seeing shit for it on Twitter, and I'm just like, okay, this is this looks fine, I guess. Yeah. But I was never like, oh, I'm gonna go see this. Yeah, um, I think I just realized I need to start using my my A list pass more. Oh, dude! So it's the best, yeah. the best bang for your buck. Yeah, it really is. So I've just mm. started seeing every movie, regardless of how shitty I think it's gonna be. Hell yeah! And most of the time, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, you know, it's like what Megan and I we we just like we'll just sit around and be like, all right, well, why don't we just go see a movie Saturday night? Yeah. And we're like, cool, let's do it. Yeah, and that's normally what we end up doing. It's just. Unfortunate that this is January, and January is always all of the shitty releases. Yeah, no good movies. Better Except for, for Scream. Scream was great. Scream was great. Yeah, dude. It's also I saw, um, I guess because they probably anticipate. Obviously, they know that 
summer's the big movie time or whatever and not really the beginning of the year, if you cancel your AMC membership, you can't rejoin A-List for six more months. Wow. So you can't just like cancel one month when there's no good movies, rejoin the next, cancel whatever. Huh. So they get around that by saying, if you cancel now, you have six more months to wait. Damn. Kind Never of shitty. That. They, but, they let you, uh, like when the pandemic started, they mm-hmm. let you like suspend it. Oh, yeah. So I suspended mine for like a year. Smart. And then all of a sudden I got charged for it again. And I was like, oh, we're back. Oh, cool. So I like opened it back up and they were just like, yeah, we're, we're like reactivating everybody who like suspended their stuff. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I get it. That's how my, that's how um, Planet, not Planet Fitness, the, whatever the fucking gym is called, LA Fitness or 24-hour oh, 24, yeah. 24 fitness. That's what it is. The one up there that I used to go to before, when I moved here before the pandemic, uh, they just all of a sudden, they're like, all right, we're going to stop, you know, billing you monthly because there's no cancellation because I entered like a year-long contract or whatever in February of 2020 and they're like it'll be ten dollars a month cheaper if you do this year-long contract and you can't break the contract and I was like okay sure so then obviously a month later they stopped charging me in April of 2020 and then they're like all right yeah for you know in the meantime while we sort while you know the world sorts it out we're we're gonna suspend your payments it'll be fine and then, you know, when things started looking better in July of 2020, they're like, but the, they're like, okay, a couple of gyms are opening, so everyone, we're going to start billing you again. No, but the gyms here weren't open. Like, they were open in a couple places in the U.S., but not here. And so they billed me for July and August, and then they stopped again because of COVID cases started going up. And then they would do, like, every three or four months, they would charge you for a month. And I was like, this is bullshit. So I like... That's so weird. And I tried to get around it. I, try, I like called them and they're like, you can't cancel over the phone. You have to do it online. But online is so convoluted. And I finally was able to do it and get like at least two months back. But like, dude, it's... They, they just decide when they can start billing you. It's like so shitty. Dude, I still have a Planet Fitness membership mm-hmm. because I refuse <laughs> to do... To like cancel it because it's like... I went online... And I was like, cancellation. Mm -hmm. And they were like, our cancellation policy, it's like, you have to like cancel at the place that you opened it. It's so dumb. And so I was like, okay, cool. So I called the one in Burbank. Yeah. And was just like, hey, I'd like to cancel my membership. They're like, you have to come in and Mm -hmm. cancel it here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you motherfuckers. (laughs) I was like, I live like 45 minutes away from this place now. Fuck you guys. That's so shitty. So part of me is like, oh, I should just go to the one that's like near me. Mm hmm. Make that my like your like main my club, main yeah. club, and then cancel it immediately. Can you do that? Can you change cl- your main club? Yeah. Well, then you should. Yeah, absolutely. I, th- I, I, I think that. that's what I have to do because fuck them. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's such a dumb system. It is. It's dude. so dumb where they're like, oh, we're we're all about helping the people get better and stuff yeah. like that, but they're like, but you can't fucking leave. You can't leave. You're trapped in our ecosystem. We'll break forever. your knees. <laughs> we'll set off the lunk alarm on your ass. Oh my god, dude, I. Never once heard that go off. Really? But the anxiety of the possibility that you would of put down your weights too hard. Off, yeah. Destroyed me. So like every time I was there, yeah. I was like, okay, you gotta put it down really quiet. Oh. <laughs> just like holding it all in. And like Is every- it like a weight sensor in the floor? Is it a noise sensor? I think it's a noise it? sensor. No so it's, fucking way. So it's like if you drop it and you're like, oh. Like that kind of thing, yeah. it goes off. That's the stupidest shit. They're it's like, so we don't shame dumb. you. <laughs> yeah, they're like, but we, we're gonna shame you. If we you don't do shame you, but once you're like too ripped, yeah, then fuck you. Yeah, you're, you don't belong here. You're not allowed to try too hard. Dude. Yeah, dude, it's so funny. It's the dumbest shit, dude. It's so stupid. And the annoying thing about it too is that like most of the time, save for like one or two like just random people at the gym, mm-hmm. everybody at a gym is so fucking nice. I know, right? Like I've had, I've had just like huge dudes come over and just be like, "Hey, man, like, uh, you, like you need a spot or something." Right. I'm like, "Yeah," and they're like, "Cool, I got you." And I'm like, yeah, "Sick." I know. Everybody, like, they're just so nice. Like, no one really gives a shit. Everyone's just like trying to do their own thing. Like, right. Just, just worry about it. So it's like it's Planet so Fitness making this thing where they're like, "We're for the people." And right. It's like, but you're not. But you're really. not. You're really not. Yeah, you should absolutely make the one near you your home club and then just cancel from there. <laughs> Go in, just like, and be like, hey, yeah, uh, I'd like to transfer my, my, my club membership. And they're like, all right, cool, yeah, let's do it, let's do that. Uh, and then cancel and it then for I'd me. Like to cancel it. <laughs> they're like, 
what? Pikachu face. What the fuck? Do, what do you think that they would be like? Well, actually, you have to go back to your home club. No, I think that's. I mean, they got you. You got them. That's yeah. malicious compliance to right. the T, my guy. <laughs> dude, that's funny. Actually, post on Reddit I, somewhere. Yeah, I love dude. That malicious compliance subreddit is my like. It's my guilty pleasure. Oh. I love reading like people it's who so just like good. get a taste of their own fucking medicine. It's like, so good. I these love are the it. rules, and they're like, okay. Then you follow the rules, and they're like, wait, hold on, what? <laughs> well, wait, not like that. Not like that though. There was this one where this guy came in for like a fingerprinting appointment or something like that and what? he was at, yeah at the police station he needed to get yeah. fingerprinted oh probably for like tsa yeah check some shit like yeah. that and he was five minutes late and they're like oh sorry you can't do it now and um he's like well is there anyone coming in after me and they're like no we don't have the next appointment booked and he's like okay well then can i just book that appointment now nah, you have to book 24 hours in advance and he's like well can you just do me now keep my regular appointment nah you're you're late and he's like okay well, what he, so then he go. He's like sitting there. He goes on his phone. He finds the next appointment like twenty four hours out. And he finds it and he books it. And he's like, all right, I changed my appointment. He's like, are, are we allowed to show up early to appointments? They're like, yeah, you just can't show up late. So he books this twenty four hour <laughs> appointment twenty four hours from now. And he's like, okay, hey, I'm here for my appointment twenty four hours early. And there's nothing they could do, so they let him fucking because <laughs> they didn't have anyone next, so Dude, they just let him in. That's so funny. So good. I like. There's just something about subverting dumb rules yeah. that are incredible. Like, I understand if it's like a 15 minute late policy. Yeah. If you're 15 minutes late, right. th- fuck you. You're, you're, yeah. you're wildly unprepared. Right. Um, but if it's like five minutes, Come if you on. like walked in the door yeah. and you were like typing in your name and they're like, you're three minutes late. That's like that's, so that's dumb. No, it's like, so dumb. That could have been traffic. Yeah. That could have been things that were out of your like control. Especially if there's no one next. Yeah. Brother. Let me go. Yeah, just 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 sign them up. Yeah, easy. I love that sub. Definitely one of my one of my favorites. Uh, Did you do your? They had like a Reddit like rewind Reddit recap thing, like how they do Spotify wrapped. They mm-hmm. did a Reddit wrapped. Did I've you done see that? that? No. <laughs> and it shows you your uh, the your top like five subreddits, your top like whatever if you posted any comments or any upvote like upvote or anything and then it shows the amount of time that you, like the the distance that you scrolled like in like uh miles or something like that that's amazing pretty interesting that's yeah. incredible yeah. i love dumb statistics yeah i love i love when somebody can boil down something that doesn't matter yes into something very interesting yeah it's the, great like when when they're like oh it's actually this many elephants to the moon or yeah. some shit i'm like i love that that's sign cool. me up I give me a book of those give me a million elephants right now <laughs> Let them all let die them in the up. vacuum of space. <laughs> yeah, let them get just sucked up, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. The whole concept of Moonfall was that the moon was hollow and built by aliens. It was wild, dude. What? Yeah. <laughs> that just reminded me of that. It what was. I fuck? didn't expect it. I, I don't want to spoil it, but it was truly, like, I, I thought it was just like a sci-fi, like a Don't Look Up t- style movie. Because it's like, oh, my God, the moon's going to hit Earth. And people are like, oh, my God, no, it's not. Whatever. <laughs> But then it, it turns out to be way more than that, which you find out quickly. I'm not spoiling anything by saying this, but like <laughs> the the guy finds out that it's gonna hit Earth because of some whatever the fuck happened, and it's actually like the the moon is not real, and the moon is a mega structure built by aliens, and there's like a star inside of it powering it. It got real weird real quick. Why is the star so small? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was crazy. It That's was a wild so fucking funny, movie. Dude. Holy shit! People, people in there—that's what I didn't understand when I was when I was watching that movie. Maybe I just didn't. Maybe there's some like lore around it or something, but that I was just not tuned into. But like people were like laughing, like the whole theater, like a whole section of the theater would laugh at a part that I was like, "Is that like a meta joke or something like that?" <laughs> or is it just absurd? Right. But it wasn't even like something that I could be like, "Oh, that's you know that's funny." Like right. it was like, "Why are you laughing at that type of thing?" And then. This guy came on, one of the actors who plays, like, the president or something, the whole theater, when it was, like, revealed that he was the president, was like, oh, my... Like, they clapped. They clapped. They seriously clapped. I don't know who this actor is. <laughs> I have never seen this actor in my entire life. All right, I gotta, I gotta find out. And I'm like, is he in, like, another show where he plays the president or something? Like, why are people clapping? What? It, it... He's the black guy who... who uh, well, uh, fucking what? I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to look it up on Google. Hold Module on. pilot. 
Moonfall cast. He was this guy. No, that's this is Judge. I, I may, yeah, Doug Davidson. I, Emmy Equator. I don't know. I right? Do Dude, you know who case, that is? This case is sick as fuck. By Isn't way. it tight? It matches my watch. They yeah. don't have on right now, but. This is, uh, he's an American actor. He's best known for his roles in Ink, Extent, and Gorgon in Inhumans. I haven't heard of any of those things. I've never seen this guy before. And I'm not kidding when I say the entire theater and IMAX theater, like a big theater, clapped when he came on screen. What the fuck? I have never heard of this guy. Well, Inhumans is a Marvel thing. <clears throat> Bro, this has a 38 meta score. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> bizarre, man. <laughs> It was really bizarre. There's always something so funny to me about like a blockbuster coming out. Have you ever seen the uh, "fuck you, it's January" no. video? No. So there's a there there's a YouTube group uh, mm-hmm. called Red Letter Media that does like film reviews, mm-hmm. critiques, like just they they they're just like a film centric sure. YouTube channel. They have a video that always cycles around in January called "fuck you, it's January," okay. and it's them like just being like. Uh, talking about like how shitty all the movies come out oh are, my and God. like it, cu- like it, it'll cut away, and they'll be like explosions. Fuck you! It's January, <laughs> and it's just it's just so no incredibly way. Fuck funny. Fuck you! It's January. Pull that shit up. That's hilarious. Oh, I don't need YouTube Premium. No one needs YouTube Premium. Like what? What is it? Uh, what, you just don't get ads. Yeah, Bro, but get I an already ad don't blocker. get ads because yeah. of ad blocker. Get an ad blocker. Fuck you, it's January. They make a new one every year? No, it's just oh, the it's same just like, one. This is the one. Well, happy new year, oh, this is from 2017. This is 2015. This is the original one. <laughs> also, some kind of deadly infectious disease? No, it stands for high frame rate. Remember, Peter Jackson thought it was going to revolutionize movies by oh, making they got them sick or some people got oh, sick. I remember that. What a hit. <laughs> it's all they're just like listing off like terrible you remember th- this remember this yeah okay yeah. <laughs> it's just like like just such shitty quality I love that shit like just such like a terrible and it's just them sitting there in this like shitty set and it's just them like listing off That's like terrible movie so tropes funny. and they're just like fuck you it's January I wanna watch that in it's entirety I will Dude, add that to my list that's it's, so fucking funny it's so good I love fuck it so you, much it's January they're like their whole they had like a whole bit like that set yeah. was like their house was like put under the ocean so they put tarps over the window to keep the water out and that was like a whole bit for like a year that's hilarious like, the, like their set was that shitty room I love because that. Because they like made a video about it getting put underwater. That's so good. It's so funny. I love commitments to the bit like it's that. It's so good. I love that shit. It's so good. Fuck and they're just it's January. And it's just two dudes. Well, yeah. I mean, there's probably more at this point. This yeah. was like twenty fifteen. Sure. But so they probably expanded God. and got a whole team now, but it's weird to think that twenty fifteen is seven years ago. Like twenty fifteen YouTube is yeah. so vastly different from current YouTube, and yeah. twenty fifteen YouTube is so different from like twenty ten YouTube. Yeah, I know. Like the past the ten years of YouTube of have been so weird. Insane every single year. Just so many it's it's evolved like yeah. exponentially every yeah. year. Yeah. And now it's like this weird like meta self referential like advertisement hog. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. It's weird. It's yeah. like it it's it's progressed so strangely. Yes. And I it, love it. It's it's fucking great. Unrelated to all that, but it just popped in my head. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's to the day or not, but um, two years we've been doing oh, this no podcast. Way. Oh, holy years. shit! <laughs> I don't know if it's to the day. I don't. How would I find that? Oh, wow. I just type in February 2020, right? Isn't it crazy that we literally got two episodes into it and then the world ended? <laughs> February 9th, 2020. Oh yeah. Okay. And so almost a, almost two years to the day. Wow. February 9th, 2020. Look at us. Damn. So full of hope. Oh. God, the optimism. So young and full of hope. The, the table that didn't quite yeah. set itself. We always had to move it like very carefully, otherwise the glass would come yep. apart. Oh, God. Man. Two years. What two, a time. Almost to the day. Man. Everybody give a round of applause. Wow. For two years of the Happy pop. two year birthday. Yeah. Wow. That's so cute. That's incredible. Holy shit. Dude, are you? <laughs> I, God, my life is just one big fucking sinus pressure and <laughs> shit. Your, your whole life is just centered from one sinus infection to yes, the next. Yes, it's the worst, man. Uh, yeah. Yo, fuck allergies. I don't know who invented them or who's like keeping them alive, but 
fuck them hard. There has to be like a market for them. Like someone's keeping it afloat. Oh, I almost called an allergy hotline the other day, dude. I didn't know what to do. That's a real thing. I'm not is it kidding. really? Yes, I'm serious. What the fuck I'm is the so allergy serious. hotline? Explain. <laughs> like I didn't actually call an allergy hotline, but I learned that it was a real thing when I went to... Dude, Rite Aid ice cream slaps. Mm. That fucking like thrifty so good. ice cream. Yeah, thrifty. Oh. Fucks. So I got it last night and uh, on the case of the a display of ice cream, it says like, Questions? Call the allergy hotline. <laughs> and low key want to call the allergy hotline real quick. You call it and it's just some dude. This is like, oh, uh, hello, hello, <laughs> hi. Um, uh, I also I I'm really having some bad allergies today, and they're like, is. oh well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Well, <laughs> I am too. <laughs> Uh, well, if if uh, if you want to just uh, go buy some Benadryl at your local Rite Aid, uh, you we will go, give you twenty percent off, and it will help you through the day. Oh, what is this report? No, I don't want to do that. I just want to call the Allergy Foundation. You can report a new allergy. <laughs> I, I Yo, I'm allergic it. to glass. I just figured it out. My throat is bleeding. <laughs> call hotline with allergy questions. Is it like a real person it connects you to? It's. <laughs> It's a doctor, but it's like just I like a shitty a picture AI. Picture of it because I'm getting a shitload of different, different responses as far as what the allergy hotline is. But there was a number there. Damn. Is it questions? Call the allergy hotline. <laughs> what would I have a question about? <laughs> you know, some executive was fucking stoked when they were just like, they're like, guys, listen to me, all right? <laughs> allergy hotline, <laughs> and everyone in the room's like, oh yes, 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 that's yeah. a great idea. <laughs> They're like, please don't fire me. It's that meme where the guy's like, all right, what should we do this? And then like the board guy suggests one thing and then he throws him out the window. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not just allocating more resources to the suicide hotline? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> That's so funny. Who's <laughs> with me? Allergies, Benadryl. I've been uh, hopping Benadryl like it's absolute candy this I, week, man. I have not like done anything about it yeah. <laughs> and it's it, it's just, just been stacking up yeah dude what the fuck my life is just suffering i was raised catholic it oh is what it is oh my god that's <laughs> so funny yeah i've been i was at the park at a picnic yesterday and just like oh hit me yeah it was kind of wholesome yeah, kind of like kind of cute you went from jackass to a picnic that's just a nice a wholesome day yeah uh and i just hit i just had to start having like a fucking allergy attack dude <laughs> I you're was just like, sitting there, like, having a great little time, eating a little sandwich, and then you're just like... I oh. truly was like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> like, my eyes started watering, and I like, couldn't open them. They were so dry, and I was like, I feel I feel puffy. I got, I can't do... I, like, I, I don't know what's puffed. happening. And I'm, like, freaking out, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, are you okay? I was like, no, I something's wrong. And so, she's, so we walk to the fucking liquor store on the corner and buy like a pack of Claritin nice. and eye drops. Oh my god! At a liquor store, the dude's just real confused. It was so expensive there. Was it really? It, it was, the little eye drops were ten dollars. No way! And a thing of Claritin was fifteen dollars. Holy shit! It's five what? five tabs of like little capsules of Claritin for five for fifteen dollars. Oh my god! Insane. Was so it was D? Like, so you can make some meth. <laughs> is that you make it clear meth with Claritin D? Yeah, all, all like that's why. So whenever you go to like pharmacies and stuff like that, you can get like Claritin and shit like that. You know, up up on a, like a right. a shelf, right? Yeah. But any of the ones that have D is always like either behind glass or you have to go get it from oh, over the counter fuck. because what the whatever the fuck that D is is like one of the main ingredients of meth. Oh, cool. so like you take Sudafed D, all that. Yeah. I've seen the D. I just you like get those and you like mush them up and then you like put that into into your into your thing. I don't I don't know how you make meth. Wow, but apparently with the Claritin D. But apparently with the Claritin D. That's wild. Yeah, no, it was just regular ass Claritin, and so I I took it and I like laid down for in the car for like five minutes. I was, I was like, gonna say like you like get up and like walk to the car. So like Mia's sitting outside the car like eating the food while you're like inside just like waving through the window. It was bad. That'd be dude. so funny. And I laid down in the car and I was like, I'm ready to go. And then we went back to the picnic, and it was great. But wow. Then I couldn't sleep, so I took another Claritin. Man, I'm fucking like. It's bad. Damn. I've never had allergies this bad before. I don't know what it is. That's wild. Anyways. Yeah, me either. Like, like speaking of it, like, I've never had allergies. And, like, this year, as soon as, as, soon as those winds came in, yeah. man, I was just 
Like, like I could sneeze and feel like my brain hit the front of oh my skull, God, and I was like, "Oh, okay, worst. this is this is how I die." <laughs> Do you have allergies to anything? Like, not that I'm aware of. No. Like I, I, I lucky. So, for the uninitiated, <laughs> my the upper part of my nose, like the bridge of my nose, is all reconstructed. This is all like fake, um, and so. Because of that, my, my prevailing theory is that the olfactory nerve in my nose that like allows you to smell has mm-hmm. been damaged in some capacity because I can't smell very well. Sure. And I also have not been able to like breathe through my nose pretty much my whole life. Right. I'm a fucking filthy mouth breather. It's great. Um, so like because of that, when I was like I was going to doctors and stuff like that, probably like three or four years ago. Mm-hmm. No, this was like five years ago now. Um, they were like, oh, we should get you an allergy test to see if that's like inflating your sinuses or anything mm-hmm. too. Got it, did like blood work. Did they did the thing where they like do it under your skin too? Nothing. Holy shit. Literally nothing. They were like, the only thing that's like you have uh, a, an aversion to is mold. And I was like- Doesn't everyone. Okay, cool. <laughs> you Good have to an allergy to bullets. Like yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> right. It's like, okay, I've, if I go inhale a bunch of black mold, that's gonna kill me. Yeah. Cool, that I figured sense. that. I'll stay away from that. Yeah, and I, it's best I'll do my best. Um, but it was just, it, it was weird because like never, never any problems. I've had cats my whole life. I've been around animals and shit like that. But like for some reason this year, whatever, Something whatever Miss Santa Anna wanted to bring with her this year just fucked me up. Yeah. It was I rough. I don't know what's going on, man. Something's, something's up this year. But um, even talking about it, like my eyes are starting I to I know. Water. I'm like, I feel the crusties coming on. <laughs> I wake up with so much cr- eye crust, man. It's oh, dude. Gross. It's the, it's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Megan and I will like sit there and we'll both be like, you got eye crusties. And then we're like, is it gone? And she's just like, no. I'm like, fuck. Like Shit. scraping like digging my eyes. in your eyeballs. Yeah. Fucking red. Oh, absolutely. No. Get like a pencil. You're like, oh, trying to scrape right. it off. <laughs> that was, that was too much. Too much. I hate eye shit, man. It freaks me out. Have you ever played Dead Space? Yeah. Dead Space 2? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Dead, Dead Space. I played the original Dead Space. Is it oh, Dead Space okay. Two. So Dead Space Two. There's a there's like a portion where like you get into this like MRI machine mm-hmm. because the I don't I don't I don't know what exactly it does, but it unlocks this like other area that you have to get to. But it's this like huge needle that like gets lowered into like oh, Isaac's fuck eye that. because it has to like it has to like do something with his eye. So it like goes through the center, and if you like fuck it up, like and miss or something like that, it just sends the whole system oh, through God. like through his head and nah. kills him. And I'm just like, dude, <laughs> this is so crazy. Fuck that. And every time I watch that, I'm like, yeah, no thanks, no thanks. I'm good. It's the yeah, worst. Eyeball man. shit freaks me out. Like I I just. Like a couple of years ago, got used to putting drops in my own eyes. Oh. I like couldn't do eye shit for whatever reason. Go, going to an optometrist and getting like those yellow ones yeah. to like for to whatever the fuck them. that does. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, I hate, and they fucking burn. They do. The, the thing that I hate at the eye doctor is when you put your eye up to the thing and it goes. Oh yeah, I hate the it. little like I, I'm like always like squinting in anticipation. Like you got to open your eye. I'm like, well, I fucking I. <laughs> Yeah, I'm quit being a little bitch. Yeah. Come on, come on. It's just air. It's just air, dude. You, do you want me to just blow on your eye? You want me to just give you a little. Just a little, just a little, just a quick little, see, you didn't even notice. And you're like, shit, you're right. Yeah, fuck, yeah, It's I also because it. I'm wearing glasses, but, yeah. uh, you know, what is it? I was never a fan of going to the eye doctor. I mean, I I, it's, it's, it's just like a weirdly specific thing. Like, yeah, what do you do at an eye doctor? Right. They're I just mean, like, oh, we're going to look at your we're eyes. We're going to look at your eyes, and then, I do love the little machine, the little sounds that that clink thing makes. Like, oh, oh I it's fucking very satisfying. That. It's so nice, like, one or two, and I'm like. Oh, like you run it back, run it back. <laughs> you like pull out your phone and you're like, we start recording and you're like, can you do that one more time for me? <laughs> one or two. You're mm-hmm. like, I'm not going to do anything with this. I just want to listen to it. Yeah. It just really, it soothes me. It'll put me to sleep later this <laughs> you make, afternoon. You just make like a, like an ASMR thing of just like machinery, like slight movements of machinery. I'm looking that up dude. That's definitely a thing. <laughs> I, if it, if you could do ASMR is so specific oh, yeah. these days. Dude, machinery ASMR. I don't know what's going on with Twitter or something like that, but I keep getting like notifications when people I don't follow tweet about a topic I don't care about. Same. And I'm like, why is this happening? Yeah. Like, are, are they just trying to like drum up like usage or something? Because this is fucking annoying. And I like tried to like disable <laughs> notifications yeah. and it still works. Yeah. I'm like, stop. Some um, Twitter notifications are so like pervasive and yeah. it's like there's this here's this i'm like i don't know what this is why right. am i getting suggested right i got one this morning that was from like this this streamer so i was like okay we're, we're getting to right. the wheelhouse that right. i'm like interested in i suppose and it was like it was her like third personal account that was like pushing her only fans okay and i was like 
specific. Right. And so I was like, what? I'm like, who is this person? So I like went to their like main account. Right. And they're like an ASMR streamer. Like they have like those, that like ear yeah. thing and they just like talk into it. That's their whole, it's that's their Emory? whole stream thing. No. It's just someone, someone else. It's just someone else. That? Yeah. And I'm just like, who? What? What, I mean, what is this? Just a smart business. ASMR man. freaks me out. I it's, don't like listening to it. Like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's awful. so weird. Oh, it's the worst, dude. I typed in machinery ASMR and most satisfying factory machines and tools ASMR. Oh, okay. The first thing that came up. It's no just the how it's made guy. Yeah. He's just, <laughs> just talking. Whispering. God, his voice is incredible. All right, let's see. I wouldn't call that ASMR. That's a saw, bro. Seven minute video. OMG. I mean, I wouldn't say this is ASMR. Yeah. Maybe like oddly satisfying if you're into this kind of thing, but. I mean, it's like. What are these videos, bro? What? <laughs> this person is struggling. They're like, fuck. Oh, this one got <laughs> past him. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Huh. I watched a video the other day of these people making like crown molding. This yeah. is what my life has come to. Of like fucking like crown molding, like floorboards sure. and shit like that. And like you they have like a die of like the design and uh -huh. they just feed a two by four through it and it just perfectly cuts it into it. And I'm oh, like, how do you high. get like a thing to, to, that's to like so sick. cut that? That's why I fuck with that. It's so cool, man. That is dope. I I love how it's made. I yeah. love like watching like the this is what we did to do this, and I'm like, yeah, fucking give Dude, me all that extrusion videos. Oh yeah, incredible. Yeah, like watching just like a hole and like a thing comes out and then just cut it off. <laughs> yeah, amazing. It's so nice. Oh, it's so good. Vacuum I, molding. Have you? Bro. There's a show on HBO. Maybe we've talked about it. I can't remember if we've talked about it or not. Okay, got it. Got it. Got <laughs> the name of the show. It's not how it's made. It's. Um, let me pull up my HBO. Let me pull up my HBO. I think you would like it. It's um, it's a <laughs> how to with John oh. Wilson. Okay. Have you heard of it, mm -mm. dude? It's it's great. First of all, it's I would recommend it. It's I think there's only two seasons or something, but it started out with him. It's literally one dude and a camera. And he just goes around and like each episode is like, it's like a video essay. Each episode is a video essay on like something very specific. So like one of them is like scaffolding, I think the first one. And then like one of them is like about uh, like flat earth conventions, like shit like that. But he, his way, it's like very, it's like man on the street style, okay. like in very like comedic, like dry humor, the way he explains things. But it's also super informative. Like you oh, get yeah. this whole history of things, but it's oh. just one dude with like a handheld camera going around and like filming these interviews and filming these whatever and it's so just like off the cuff that's but it's extremely my shit it's i love so, that yeah dude i think you will love it how to with john wilson is on hbo huh that's how the first season was i think there's only two and then hbo picked it up and now i think it's a little more highly produced but it's still one dude yeah one camera wild it's so good dude i, I just love the idea of some guy like walking up to something and just like shittily explaining it that's li <laughs> <laughs> like like he's wrong <laughs> like horrible. everything he says is just not correct dude that would be so good <laughs> these fences actually are imported from mars it would, um, it would jeff be... bezos brings them in in his uh his uh, tesla powered blue origin spaceship the polar opposite of his would be so great so it's like one dude with really good information with like like not great quality but it would be hilarious if it was like a fully produced and specked out show and like great quality but like the like just most misinformation oh that's just Fox News I guess actually. yeah oh, or George uh, yeah. what's his face Joe Rogan yeah, yeah. it's Joe Rogan actually <laughs> you throw millions of dollars to something but a host who doesn't know shit about yeah. anything yeah I guess that would be Joe Rogan, but which like, is harmless. <laughs> I, I'm talking harmless misinformation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's go. just talking, like like oh, like these bushes are yeah. like incorrect. <laughs> yes, like or some shit like that. Like these it's these like are imported from Atlantis. In depth video yeah. on like this specific like <laughs> genome of. <laughs> of fucking like plants and it's just completely incorrect yeah it just like you, you just like mix and match like actual facts from other things and just make that into one jonathan, that'd be funny jonathan van ness from uh, yeah. queer eye he uh did this he's he's on this new show okay he, is, is his pronouns he, he i think i think him I think jvn is they them okay well they did a show they have this new show on netflix um 
and it's like that kind of show. It's like a like oh watch me do things kind of show, like very Conan-y. Like mm, okay. here's like I'm gonna go and talk to these experts in a field and like try to learn something, but it's like got my humor and my whatever. And I, I couldn't do it. I, I, I'm a fan of JVN <laughs> and their like you know like whole personality and stuff on Queer Eye, but like it was just like it, it, it wasn't good. <laughs> It like it's like oh my god this is a format that's working for people it was not good. and it's rated <laughs> like TVMA for whatever reason probably because he says like shit probably once. Or because they, he's, excuse probably because they say shit once and like it's just like but it doesn't it doesn't play out well like it's like it's at least the first episode that I watched it's like very like you know highly technically trained people in one specific area so like those kinds of people are at least the kinds of people on this, this screen were very like. The personalities did not mesh oh, together because yes. they're so over the top. Like as far as like, oh my god, and this and this and this, and these like fucking scientists are like, what? Dude, that reminds me. <laughs> There's another show called like it's like relatively famous, like Ranch or some shit like yeah. that. Have, have you seen any of the commercials for that? I've not heard of it. So no. it's like it's like the kids of these famous people mm-hmm. go and like live and work on a ranch yeah. for like four for like four weeks or something like that. So like one of them is like Shaq's adopt or not adopted kid, but like stepson. One of them is like Wild. Easy E's daughter. Like Wild. like these people, Martin Lawrence's daughters in what there the too. Fuck? And, like, bro, it's so funny because it's, like, all these, like, rich yeah. kids and stuff like that. And they're, like, standing there in, like, their Balenciaga and stuff. And there's this, just these dudes with, like, flannels and, like, cowboy hats. And they're, like, <laughs> we're going to shoe horses today. And they're, like, they're like all right, so you do this, this, and this. And then you just pop it off. And they're all just, like, oh, my God, I don't know if I can do I this. I and, like, the, the guy, like, as they're doing it, the guy's just standing there just, like... Like you can just, you can just watch the light leaving no. his eyes like the oh, whole time these kids are trying to do this shit and I'm like oh man that's fuck what's it called it's like it's called like relatively famous or something dude, like I that need to like see ranch that. life that's hilarious dude that sounds it's so good and like Shaq's kid is like super not about it yeah yeah <laughs> he's like he's like man I don't want to do this anymore this he's like I ju- he's like I might leave that's he's like I'm gonna be so honest with you I don't want to do this anymore and I'm like damn bro I love that that's like simple life shit yeah like, it really is too. but like at least the thing with like Paris Hilton and um Nicole Richie Nicole Richie thank you I always like remember it's Nicole but yeah. I'm just like but which Nicole yeah um Megan loves that show but it's like the thing with them is that they actually like kind of committed to everything. Yeah, they right. were they they like always did everything. Yes. They didn't really complain. But these was, kids are not. Yeah, these kids are well, like the they're, they're doing it. it. Like oh, they, okay. they are doing it, but they're just like not they're like not having a good it, time. Yeah. And they're like sh- like there's so much drama like happening between everybody. Oh, I'm like, so good. bro, all you all you have to do is just work on a ranch. Right. Just shoe some horses, move some hay. Do, just do stuff. Collect pig semen. Yeah. Why That's do you, you why, do. why do you gotta like throw buckets of water on each other when you're asleep and then That's almost so fight weird. each other for some reason? Turning it into like a weird fucking prank show. Like, yeah. Hey, whoa, what's up, guys? I'm gonna go prank fucking Shaq Jr. over here. His dad is so fucking tall, but let's see who's the big man now. And I dump spiders on his head. Like <laughs> Shaq kicks through the wall and like rips that dude in half. He's like, "Don't you touch my son? Fuck my son!" <laughs> Move to the general and save some time. I was say, and then the general comes in. Dude, have you seen his fucking commercial for like the Epson printers? No, what? He's, Dude, like, what he's, fuck? he's fucking everywhere right now. But Shaq's hell, like, man. he's like Way standing go, there, and it's Shaq. like these people like sh- terrible acting. Yeah, like standing there, like looking at like their their printer, and it's like it's the like yellow warning symbol. It says like magenta, and he's like, I thought I got magenta, and they start like yelling at like this printer and stuff like that. And then Shaq just comes on screen, and he's just like, Are you suffering from printer conniption or like shit like that? And it's for like some weird like refillable toner printer. And I'm just like, Shaq, what are you doing, dude? He's just what doing side doing? quests. He's truly like he's doing. Side- I finished the main yeah. quest, so now he's just like going through and just tying up some other things. I mean, like honestly, why not? That sounds so fun. That sounds like the best life imaginable, yeah. right? Like he's like, I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna be a, an EDM DJ for five years and right. play every major festival. Yep. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna do commercials for fun. Yeah. I'm gonna read an audio book. Like, yep. dude is like, that sounds like the fucking life. Yeah. Holy and then he shit. just like, ne- it's like basically. Like zero effort from yeah, him too. Yeah, I know. So it's just like yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's so it's just incredible. Dude, that's so sick. I love I, it so much. A fucking Shaq, dude. What yeah. a cool. He seems so cool. I know. It's He's incredible. doing it right. You never hear anything bad about Shaq. I mean, I might be misinformed, but I've never heard anything bad about Shaq. Neither have I. 
That's so hype, dude. I've heard I've heard like things about like his teammates not getting along with him, yeah. but then I'm like, yeah, but you're like teammates. You're never gonna yeah, fully get along with them. Yeah, there, exactly. A little bit. It's so it's so like that whole like Lakers era. Yeah, they've all finished their main quests. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Rick They're... Fox made a fucking esports organization. That's so um, funny. fucking what's his name. I mean, Magic Johnson's just Magic Johnson right. doing his thing. Yeah. They're just like, they've all just like finished everything. And now they're just like, what else can I check off? Yeah. Like fucking Dude, list. side quests. That's funny. I need to, I'm going to use that now. That's so funny. <laughs> it's just doing side quests. What a fucking guy. Wow. If I could be, I, I think I'd like to like meet Shaq. This seems, this seems like a cool guy. To <laughs> I'd like to ride on his shoulders. You know the, the Aaron Carter song, that's how I beat Shaq? Yeah, that's how I beat Shaq. Yeah, <laughs> Megan, yeah, I Megan that. has that on one of her playlists. No way. And so, like in the mornings and stuff like that, we have like a uh, like a waterproof speaker speaker that we like keep in the shower. Yeah. So like, well, like one of us will be showering, one of us will be like brushing our teeth and stuff like that, and we'll like throw on a playlist that's or or like a podcast. Or something. Yeah. We've been listening to the "It's Always Sunny" podcast. Right oh, now, is it good? It's I've heard it's it. funny. Yeah. They don't fucking talk about the show. They always that's show it. up and they're like, "We're gonna talk about the show," and then they, don't and then they just the follow tangents for like twenty minutes. But that's what's great it's about them. I mean, that's so funny, them, you know. But yeah, we like we throw that on, and every now and then, like we're listening to a playlist, and then how that's how I beat Shaq comes on. I'm like, Megan, what the fuck? And she was like, "The song, the song, Fox." I, I don't know what fuck. I can say. Was it from a movie originally? I have no like... idea. I think he just wrote the song. Which is that's hype. Which is even funnier, yeah. honestly. Where you're just like, I'm gonna write a song Shaq. about beating Shaq as a 14 year old. <laughs> like what? <laughs> what is he? He like eats something and like grows super tall or something. Like how, what is <laughs> there's like know, a storyline? There there is like a whole through on, line. He like dunks up. over him and stuff yeah, like that. It's, it's weird, dude. How I beat Shaq. Get the Shaq. get us the lyrics. Yeah, that's what I was gonna play. Oh hell yeah. And it goes and it goes and it goes <laughs> and it goes a little something like this. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Oh, right, it's just right. that over and over yeah. again. Like, uh, have you have you seen like the Cyrenic video of um, uh, 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 the Snoop Dogg song? No. Fuck, I can never remember the name of the song, but it's like the one that's like Snoop. Yeah, and it's just that for two and a half minutes. No, fuck yeah, no way. it's literally just that, and he puts like shit on the screen, and it's just like forty of like Snoop doing like the thing where he's just like cruising, you know? It's so funny, just man. Drop it like it's hot. Thank you. Yes. Fuck. There's, so, there's so many of those like super like famous songs. I'm yeah. like, I know what is this? every word to the song. No idea yeah. what the name of it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. I no idea. You. All right. <clears throat> How I beat Shaq. Here we go, yo guys. Check it out. Guess what happened to me? Another straight, another crazy story. Come on, AC. <laughs> <laughs> I was hanging at the court, just playing some ball, working on my game. Yeah, we heard it all. Apparently, this is like some other people talking to him because it's in parentheses. Another crazy story. Come on, It's just AC. some fucking gang yeah. vocals in the background. Yeah. Uh, well, I heard the fans screaming, thought it was for me, but then I saw a shadow. It was 12 foot 3. <laughs> Shaq's just a monster. He's so big. Like he's, it's, he's not like 7'1 or whatever the fuck he's he is. 12, he's three. just a monster. Fucking mad. He's evolved. He's a Hulk. Uh, it was Shaquille O'Neal. What? What did he say? How about some one-on-one? -on -one? You want to play? And I guess that's supposed to be Shaq's voice. How about some one-on-one? -on -one? You want to play? <laughs> could you could you imagine Shaq rolling up and he's like, I'm going to shit all over these 14-year-olds. <laughs> like he's, he's playing ball. <laughs> he's like, I'm just going to oh ruin these God. kids. Um, he has nothing better to do with his day. He's like, well, I already filmed my general commercial. Might as well just go have a nice ego <laughs> I'm going to box out a 14-year-old <laughs> and shatter his pelvis. <laughs> Push him down to the ground. What now? Um... <laughs> Let's see. I told him why not. I got some time. But when I beat you real bad, try not to cry. Please, Aaron, are you for real? One-on-one -on -one with Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah, 34 center from the L.A. Lakers. You must have been nervous. I knew I could take him. Scared of Shaq? Psych him out. I said, O'Neal, you're in my house now. Start the game. The whistle blows. Pay attention close, guys. The story goes. And it was a chorus. This needs to be like a fucking was the night before Christmas yes, reading. Dude. Like like velvet robe, like pipe sitting in front of like a fireplace in a nice leather chair. Like it just was Shaquille O'Neal. What? What did he say? How about some one on one? You want to play? And then you sip your mulled wine. <laughs> your mulled wine! 34 center from the LA Lakers. <laughs> He's like twirling it with a cinnamon stick. <laughs> Oh my god. Chorus. It's like boom, boom. I put it in the hoop like slam, slam. I heard the crowd screaming out jam, jam. What crowd? You're I in like a park, you're at a, you're at a public... I swear that I'm telling you the facts. 
because that's how I beat Shaq. So check it out. I thought he had the lead. But then he started scoring mad points on me. I was scoring up bricks. Was he hitting all the shots? I knew there was a, pl a way that I could make it stop. I had a plan. I could change the pace. I said, yo, Shaq, you didn't tie your shoe lace. He looked down. I stole the ball. I'm taking him to school now. Watch me, y'all. A three-pointer, nothing but net. Come on, Shaq. Had enough yet? Down by two. I'm catching up. I guess he's getting nervous, because you know it ain't luck. And then the chorus Dude, again. The, ly the lyric of him being like, I thought he had the lead, and then he was scoring mad points. I'm yeah. like, well, then, yeah, he had the lead. <laughs> the I whole thought time. he had the lead, and then I scored one three-pointer, and I'm like, had enough, bitch? Like, come on. <laughs> and then I got a layup in on him, dude. I got real cocky. <laughs> dunk after dunk. Jam after jam. Cheerleaders are screaming, cheering. Aaron's the man. Announcers were Where'd shocked. Where did the cheerleaders come from? Where are the announcers? I, apparently a bunch of people just started Does coming. Does Shaq just like carry these people with him on his I back? I guess so, he, yeah. like He like drops his backpack and opens it and like a full like stadium unfolds. Maybe Aaron Carter posted on his Snapchat story. Yo guys, and I'm balling up <laughs> here with Shaq. Come through, check it out. Here's the Addy. Ha, ha, ha. In like 2004. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the beta version of Snapchat. MySpace or some <laughs> shit like that. I don't know. With the hit clips. Hey guys, how's oh, it going? Bro. Um, announcers were shocked. Couldn't believe it was real. I can't believe a kid just stuffed O'Neal. <laughs> stuffed? Gross. <laughs> Weird. One I mean, that is, a, that is a basketball it term, is a, but like kind of gross. Term. One more second, then it was all that, then it was all that remained. I put the ball up, I put him to shame. I must admit that it sounds real crazy, but the ball went in and then he cried like a baby. <laughs> Sorry, Shaq, I should have let you win. You're good too, and we could still be friends. The fans went nuts, they put me on their shoulders, and then I heard a voice. It sounded like my... Mothers, okay, it doesn't really rhyme with shoulders. My shul my shothers, my shoulders. shoulders. Then I heard shoulders. a voice. It sounded like my melders. <laughs> Just have to adopt like some weird Eastern European accent. My melders, my melders. Get up for school. You're gonna be late. Ah, it's all a dream. Mom, can't you see that I'm playing a game? How can you be playing if you're stuck in bed? Are you getting sick? Did you hit your head? Oh man, it was all a dream. I guess that kind of thing could never happen to me. But if it was a dream and it wasn't real. How'd I get a jersey with the name O'Neal? Whoa! <laughs> and then the chorus, it and it was like, dunk, dunk, and it was like, slam, slam. <laughs> Dude, like, the That's sheer, so the, like, I love that it's just a fucking movie trope. I the know, whole, right? The whole song. It was just a it's dream. It's also, like, definitely, like, written by a 14-year-old. A hundred percent. Let's see, when did it come out? That's how I beat Shaq. Yeah. That's how I beat Shaq. Wow, that's Overview. long as fuck, dude. It's so long. 2000. Wow. On the album Aaron's Party. 22 years ago. Wow, Shaq was... A star. Look at, please look at this cover. Was born. Wow, he... Eh. Dude, Aaron Carter. What a goofy looking kid, that's man. That's so funny. What a goofy looking kid. On, the, on March 7th, 2013, 13 years later... Shaq challenged Aaron Carter to a rematch after 12 years of the, since the song was made. Shaq made the deal that if Aaron Carter scores a single hoop against Shaq, the ex-Laker will donate $5,000 to the charity of Aaron's choice. Aaron replies that he's playing uh, for the Aaron Carter Needs a Jet Ski Foundation. Oh, God. Fuck <laughs> the, you, the, bro. Fuck off. Oh, so <laughs> you rich. fucking you piece of shit. shit. <laughs> the game starts with the two staring each other down. Shaq steals the ball from Aaron and pursues, proceeds to score over 20 points while Aaron <laughs> can't make a single shot. <laughs> As he just shits all over this guy. Oh, oh that was so God. funny, man. What did you think you were going to do? During the break, Shaq is seen eating nachos and offers some to Aaron, but then smacks them to the ground before Aaron can take any. He's like, you want some nachos? Psych, bitch. Smack <laughs> his own nachos. Them. Oh, my God. The game continues with Aaron unable to score a single hoop. It then cuts back to the two staring and Aaron attempting again to score a single hoop with Shaq successfully preventing him. Um, Aaron then reveals that the music video is only a joke, which Shaq eventually understands in a somewhat sarcastic manner. Wait, was this a sketch? It's just a bro. It's just a prank. It's, it's a, a prank, prank bro. You, you look so fucking dumb right now. Ha, ha, ha. Say hello to TikTok, bitch. <laughs> I mean, musically, I guess it was 2013. Whatever. It's, it's the past. All right, so to wrap this up for y'all in a nice little tiny little neat little bow... With some cherries on top. I've got a... There's a comment... There was this Reddit post that was made on r slash mildly infuriating. And this dude says, Today I fucked up. I dropped this... What, first of all, wrong sub. Yeah, fuck off. I, I dropped a small screw somewhere in this area. I needed to hold the new rubber seal on the inside of the faucet. Fuck my life. Anyone out there for a game of I Spy? So he was outside, right? Drops a tiny screw 
in this. I'd kill myself, dude. <laughs> 11 minutes later, someone says, is that it? Links a picture. They found the fucking screw. No way. Oh my God. They found the screw. They had 731 awards. 24,000 upvotes. Uh, he said, yeah, is that it? And these guys, holy shit, yeah, that's it. I, 11 minutes after that was posted. That's incredible. Who does this guy have Hosted? on his post notifications or some Maybe. shit for Mildly Infuriating? Dude. Maybe he's a mod. Se- 731 awards. That's insane. That's so much money that just got spent on this dude who just like was really good at I Spy as a kid. I mean, I, I know where it is and I can't even see it. But let me see. Let me see here. This case is nice. Isn't I like fun? this a lot. Thanks. I like I like rectangles. I like rectangles. Yeah, I fuck heavily with rec- reckies. Reckies. Okay, so wait, it was like over here. I I think, dude, this is rough. Right? Holy shit! The worst part is too is like as it gets out here, it gets like out of focus. Yeah, I know. Bro, yeah, I I know where it is, and now I can't find it. <laughs> I hate this. I know. So this dude found it. 11 minutes after that shit was posted and that guy deserves all those awards seven i mean like that's crazy what does gold cost like three dollars or some (laughs) shit like that 201 silver 23 gold 10 platinum 10 219 helpful 208 also reddit has introduced all these awards that i Uh, yeah every time i I see like just a whole bunch of shit on like posts on like super stonk or something which first of all fuck that subreddit super stonk yeah i've never heard of that's like it's like the the guys who did like gme and stuff like that okay yeah it's where they like shit post and talk about stuff yeah but they like Every time there's always just like a billion like random war- awards on those like posts. Yeah. And I'm like, like what, what is this even, stuff? What do they even mean? Okay, wait, I see. There's Community like a rocket. Reddit coins, reactions, medals, Reddit coins. I don't even know, man. There's too many things here. I mean, th- look at all those fucking awards. That's too many. Oh, wait. I, you can give another award. Oh, good. And they cost Reddit coins. This costs 50,000 coins. How much does a coin cost? Two hundred dollars for this fucking award, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, and it literally what? just goes to Reddit. That doesn't. I was like, gonna go say like anywhere. you don't get anything. No, no, right? no. Like you have to buy the coins from Reddit to give somebody the, those awards. Eighteen hundred gold is six dollars. Oh, sorry, sorry. Eighteen hundred coins are six dollars, and one gold is five hundred coins. So like basically three dollars. Jesus Christ, dude. That's so much money spent on just like giving a little thing to a comment. That's so wild. What what is the point of that? That's Why so give weird. awards? That's I didn't so know it weird. cost like two hundred fucking dollars. Are you kidding me? Dude. And that guy's got like what, six of those? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. You fucking nerds. <laughs> ten, ten platinum. Let's see what the platinum spend, costs. Spend money on something else. <laughs> The well, I mean, who, is who, who am I to say what you spend your money on, you fucking nerds? God damn, that is wild, dude. That's so funny. Because he found a screw. He was just really good at those books as a kid. He was the kid who, like, rented them from the library and, like, circled shit. So apparently... Just ruined it for everybody else. So you get Reddit coins if you get an award. Oh, neat. Uh, give 700 Reddit coins. So a Platinum award gives you 700 Reddit coins and a month of r slash lounge access and ad-free browsing. Wild. R, r slash lounge i've never heard of that mm. okay uh these some of these are literally just like nothing that boldly go it's just like a thing but it costs money <laughs> wild dude i never knew this shit existed uh 20 whoa it's for those who deserve outsized recognition it gives 2500 reddit oh my god argentium how much does that cost i'm sorry i just need to look that one up Okay, that's a hundred dollars. And how? No, 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 no! Oh god! Okay, Holy good. Shit, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Nick almost bought a hundred dollar oh Reddit god. thing after just shitting on it for five Holy minutes. Holy shit! I'm done with that. <laughs> what a joke, dude! That was so easy to almost do. <laughs> I'm glad that Apple has the thing where you have to double tap it. I know. It. Oh god! I would have fucked up dude. so many things. All right, Jesus. Well, on that note, I should not handle any more electronics, so we appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode of the Lunchtime Saturday Podcast. We hope you learned something. 
<laughs> and honestly, fucking, you know? Got some movie wrecks, got, got some, some TV wrecks. Got some song wrecks. Yeah. Run up How It Beats How I Beat Shaq. Yeah, let's be let's make anthem. it the let's let's get it to the top five by the end of twenty twenty two. Let's do it. Let's bring it back into the charts. Let's bring it back. I agree. Fuck yeah. A Disney song is number one on the Billboard one hundred right now. From that movie Encanto. Oh. Okay. A Disney song is number one on Billboard one hundred. Damn it. Kind of crazy. Lin Manuel is just raking in that He's money, just man. Raking in that money. <laughs> a hurricane like a tornado and a all right, guys. That was my Lin Manuel impression. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Lunchtime Serenade Podcast. We will see you guys next time. Middle, middle of the day, middle, middle of the week. week. Balls. Peels. Peels. Pauls. Logan Pauls. Ew. <laughs>